out of the hand of the Egyptians. No matter how big those hands of the enemies are in your life, those hands shall be paralyzed and deliverance will come your way out of the hand of the enemy. To, then what is the purpose? To bring them up. Ego soaring. Ego soaring. Your ego shall soar out of that land unto a good land. That is the, that is the mission. The mission statement is to bring them up out of that land unto a good land. The mission statement is bring them, bringing them up out, not bringing them down. It didn't say bring them down. It didn't say bring them straight. But bring them up. Ego, your ego will soar. I said your ego will soar out of that land unto a good land. And then that is the ego strike because the strike there is the mission. And the mission is a good land. And a large unto a land. Now describing your strike. What is the land going to look like? It is not a barren land. It is not an arid desert. It's not a desert, but what? If a land flowing with milk and honey. Look at the same chapter, 317. And I have said, in other words, there is emphasis. God is emphasizing, laying emphasis on your victory. God is laying emphasis on your deliverance. God is laying emphasis on your ego soar. God is laying emphasis on your ego strike. God is laying emphasis on the mission statement for the ember months. He says, and I have said, in other words, he came now to reintroduce himself as God whose word does not change and whose word no terror can refuse. And I have said, I will bring you up Look at that re-emphasis, re-emphasis, re-emphasis. I will bring you up out of the affliction of Egypt onto the land flowing with milk and honey. The land of Canaanites, the land of Hittites, the land of Jebusites and the rest of them. So you can see God laying emphasis, laying emphasis in identities. Laying emphasis in identities, number one, he emphasizes glory. And I have, I am that I am. Hallelujah. I am that I am. I have said, remember in the beginning he said, let there be light. And there was light. Now he says, I have said I will deliver you. In other words, deliverance shall be. Deliverance shall come. Deliverance shall arise. Remember the Bible says, out of Mount Zion, Deliverance will come your way. Beloved, whatsoever you have suffered in the past eight months, deliverance comes your way. Deliverance comes your way. Joy comes your way. I hear God has terminated your thoughts of weeping. Did you hear that? If you are thinking weeping, if you are thinking sorrows, if you are thinking disaster, the Lord has terminated those evil thinking. Receiving the name of Jesus, and I have said, I will bring you. In other words, I have promised for you. I have said what a succor coming to us tonight. Uh, that yes, God's mandate for you in the year 2020 is still very much intact. Uh, beloved, you are in the ninth month. Uh, and there are 101 days left in the year 2020. A thousand years is what? Uh, but a day before our God. Uh, God is the turntable changer. He turns the table and then he changes the table. Turntable. I know what I'm saying, but I say turntable. You, know, you remember those days when we used to play uh, the turntable gadgets? Uh, once a, 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 a kind of um, uh, the, those discs in those days, once one stops and uh, once one finishes playing, uh, then another turn comes in. Uh, God is turning your table tonight. My God is the turning the, the, table, the table turner. My God is the table turner. Is turning around your life. Things that have not been working. They are working according to his promises. And remember his promises are what? Yea and amen. Somebody welcome to your season of promises. Oh, you will fulfill milk and honey. You will fulfill Milk and honey. Somebody shout a loud amen tonight. Praise God. So look at it. He mentioned series of identities in that in, in the scriptures that we have read. 
and I have said I will bring you up out of the affliction of it. See, beloved, you need to realize the kind of suffering that you are going through. You need to be able to describe it for you to be able to either accept it or reject it. Praise the Lord. Look at, look at, look at Jabez in those days. His mother called him sorrow. And then he realized that funny identity. And then he rejected it. I speak into your life in the month of September. And through the embassy, whatever you reject shall be rejected. Whatever you accept for good shall be accepted. The Bible says whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. I decree and I ask that on this altar, this altar that you believe on, this altar of eternal grace, let it fight your battles. Let it be ordained with the heavens that fight battles of men and grant victories to men. Receive in the name of Jesus. So it must be known to us what we don't like. So God called it, God defined it as the affliction of Egypt. So you can imagine after God had delivered them and they were still saying they wanted to go back to Egypt. Will you go back to affliction? I thought you would say no. Will you go back to affliction? I say you will say no. Will you go back to affliction of January? Will you go back to affliction of February, of March, of April, of May, up till now? No, you are not going back. By the utterance of the word that is coming to you tonight, there is milk and honey prepared for you. You are not returning to affliction. You are not going back. Egypt means oppression. Egypt means affliction. Afflictor in the realm of the affliction. Unto the land flowing with milk. So you can see descriptions. Unto the land flowing. Your new land will flow with milk and honey. Your land of ember months shall be filled, shall flow. If it is not full, it cannot flow. It is what is full that flows. So you will be operating in the fullness of milk and honey unto a flowing. Somebody say loud, amen. Then let's look at it. It is a time to displace intruders and marauders. Because it says, it, it used to be, it will hitherto be the land of Canaanites, Hittites, and the Jebusites. So it is a time to displace the unqualified. Can you say that with me? Say, by the grace of the ember months, the grace that worketh milk and honey, I shall displace every intruder, every intruder taking occupation, taking occupation, taking occupation upon my destiny, upon my purpose, they shall be what? Displaced. Say it again, say they shall be displaced. They shall be displaced. They shall be displaced. In these season, territories will change hand for your favor. Territories will change hand for your favor. Positions will change hand for your favor. In your place of work, you have been you have been denied your promotions for so long there shall be a displacement for your favor i speak into your life your rejections shall become acceptabilities shall become acceptances receiving the name of god the father and of the son and of the holy spirit it doesn't matter it will, it will not matter for how long they have been holding on to that thing that belongs to you there shall be an exchange of power there shall be an exchange of, 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 of locations. They will be displaced. Somebody shout. The Bible says, that, that by, the, by the name of the Lord Jesus and, the, and the, by, the, by the fire of the Holy Spirit, fear will come upon them in their hiding places. Fear, the fear of God shall become a terror to them. Say, Lord, amen. Now let us look at what is, a, what is milk so that you can begin to be excited in what is about to happen in your life. The milk is the richness of kind. It is the richness of kind. Characteristically, number two, it is for sucking. It is for, it's for a sucking treat. When, when you are treated to a sucking. And that is to say, like we see babies, when they are newly born, they suck the milk. That is the, 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 the magnitude of tender care which mothers show which mothers show to newly born children and by, by the, by the, by the uh, World Health Organization standard or UNO standard a, a, a young baby needs such a tender care for not less than 12 months nothing makes with the breast feed breast milk feed praise the Lord 
praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I see God tenderly caring for you into 2020. God will tenderly care for you into 2020. I said, God will tenderly care for you. Now, when God introduced himself as the El Shaddai to Abraham in that Genesis 15, I, I think, or either 15 or 17, he was introducing himself as a care mother. Mother care and care mother, showing mother care. So showing motherly care. And then when he says he is, is Abraham's exceeding great reward, that he is the El Shaddai, is the El Shaddai, he was introducing the kind of fresh milk which he could he produces instantly per time. Look at that freshness instantly per time. Every new hour, every new second, God produces and releases fresh milk. We are told that there is a there is a there is a lifespan which the breast of a woman can 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 take for it to go stale but the, and then it stays fresh but the freshness of God's milk is purer than the human milk it's, it's more refreshing than the human milk it's, it cares for, 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 for more than the human milk and that care is in the realm of mercy somebody shout a lot amen that care, that tenderness is in the realm of compassion that's why we are not consumed by our sins for mercy reveals us to the goodness of God I pray in the, in, the, in, the, in the realm of the food for the season, in the realm of the milk uh, for the season, because it's your season of milk and honey, you will enjoy the mercy of the Lord. Mercy will not go still over your life. Somebody say loud, Amen. Praise God. So let's look at, at this milk one more time. Because of the elementary nature of milk so it's a builder of the baby is a builder of the baby so that the baby can grow and grow to maturity to the extent that it can begin to what eat meat it can begin to eat solid food so it is like a elementary beginning for us even as we enter the ember months it's like god is concluding the year for us at a new level at a new stage such that you begin to, 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 to tread into the season with the care of God and then you grow in maturity into October, into November, into December and then you soar into the year 2021. Somebody shout it loud, amen. I pray the solid food of 2020, oh, shall become your graduation. The solid food of 2020, the meat of 2020, though you are being fed with the milk right now because of the protection that you require many of us we do severally feel by i don't know what kind of uh, of theory that brought that about that the ember months are dangerous months but it is the month that god tenders for you the month that god tends you the month that god cares for you so no evil no tragedy of the end of the year that's what we say better is the end than, than the beginning thereof you are finishing 2020 strongly and i want you to receive this by faith fear nothing on your journeys did you hear that? Fear nothing on your journeys. Fear nothing on your sleep. Fear nothing in your place of work. Fear nothing on your destiny. You will arrive December 30, 20, 20, 31, 2020 very strongly receiving the name of Jesus. Praise God. So what are we saying? Therefore, by the milk, God is weaning us. W-E-A-N-I-N-G. God is what? Preparing us. God is tending, tending us. God is caring for you and myself. Say loud, amen. Are you excited this evening? Beloved, it is your season of what? Milk and honey. Can we say that again? It is my season of what? Milk and honey. Now, let's look at honey. That is what we call the honeycomb. And the Bible says it is sweet to the soul. May your soul receive the sweetness of the honey into these ember months. The honeycomb, which is sweet to the honey, and it's very is and it's health to your bones. It is health to our bones. Let's look at the book of Proverbs 16:24. Proverbs 16:24.
Thank you, Jesus. I read. Pleasant words are as an honeycomb, which are sweet to the soul and health to the body, to the bones. Pleasant words. You can imagine, therefore, when you are receiving the word of God that, that, is, an, that is an embodiment, the word of God that is an embodiment of milk and honey, then sweetness is coming to your soul and health is coming to your bones. Praise the Lord. Let's look at the book of 1 Samuel 14, 24 to 27. 1 Samuel 14. In, the, in summary, it has to do with the oath that Saul took. 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel 14. 1 Samuel. Let's quickly read. 1 Samuel. Fourteen. I read from verse twenty-four, verses twenty-four downwards. First Samuel fourteen. If you are there, read it along with me. And the men of Israel were distressed that day, for Saul had adjured the people, saying, "Cause be the man that eateth any food until evening, that I may be avenged of my enemies." So none of the people tasted any food. Verse twenty-five. And all day of the land came to a wood, and there was honey upon the ground. And when the people were coming to the wood, behold, the honey dropped. But because of the oath of King Saul, no man put his hand to his mouth, for the people feared the oath. But look at verse 27. But Jonathan heard not when his father charged the people with the oath. Wherefore, he put forth, he put forth the end of the rod that was in his hand and dipped it in an honeycomb and put it and put his hand to his mouth. Then look at what happened. His eyes were enlightened. Beloved, that was a, an episode in the life, in the life of Israel, and then the, the, uh, in the course of a war. Now, because of determination, because of the need to 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 to, to conquer the enemies of Israel, King Saul put himself on oath on a fast, on oath for a fast. And it was such that the people were weary to the fast. They were, they were, they were, they got weary. And then when they saw, they, they, they saw an opportunity to brighten their minds, to brighten their souls. And then because of the oath, they could not partake. They could, they, they saw food, but they could not eat. But what happened? Jonathan was not there when his father made an oath, ignorantly or unknowingly. He took part. He partook. Of, I mean, he tasted the honey, and then we were told the Bible says uh, that his eyes were enlightened. Uh, God is feeding you with the food of enlightenment of your eyes. Uh, what does that mean? Your vision will be enlightened, uh, beloved. Your vision to be part, to be a party, to be a part, to be a celebrity in the harvest of the year 2020, to finish strongly in harvest. To finish strongly in reaping to the extent that you don't lose hope now it doesn't matter what situations you are, are, are surrounded with your vision for 2020 should begin to attain harvest say it with me say my vision is is what attaining harvest now you have labored the bible says in the book of genesis 8 22 that as the earth remained seed time and harvest time shall not what shall not cease let that become your enlightenment let hope arise for you let vision be brightened for you that you will not look down on your labor you will not look down on your sowing days you will look up to your harvesting season receiving the name of jesus so the honey is a sign of abundance the honey is a sign of abundance are you writing down that it's a sign of abundance number two the honey stands for ease everything that is difficult in your life shall be eased up beloved it says they that sow with tears with in assurance uh, reap with joy that is an easy thing that is an easy because you have labored you have worked you have toiled harvest shall be easy for you harvest shall be easy for you i said in, in the number one it's a sign of abundance your season of abundance shall be what? 
shall be an epitome of your season of milk and honey. You will live in abundance into 2021. Number three, it signifies found prosperity. Oh, can you hear that? You will find prosperity. Say with me, say, I will find prosperity. Your labor has searched for prosperity. You will find prosperity. Your toiling days in January till August have what? Have searched for prosperity. Now, Ember Month will make you find your prosperity. There, are, there, are, there is a peculiarity of prosperity that has been assigned for you in this season. You will attain it. You will become it. You will testify it. Can I hear a loud amen? Say your amen. It is your season of water, milk and honey. In milk, you are being tendered. You are being cared for. You are being, you are being prepared because in it, you will soon grow to eat the solid food. And your solid food shall come in the realm of prosperity. You have searched for it. You have sought for it. You will find it. Some say, I will find it because it is now available. If it is not available, you cannot find it. Look at it, my brother and my sister. Nigeria has been searching for oil in the Lake Chad region for how many years? It is in the hope that oil is available there. But look at me, my brother and my sister. You will not search for your prosperity to find it too late. You will find it in time and season according to the injunction of that Genesis chapter number one saying you shall produce your fruit in season. Oh, you are in your season of milk and honey. You will not search for too long. You will find it because it is available. Can somebody say it all over the house three times? Say my prosperity. I will find it because now it is available. Number one. Number two. My prosperity that I've been searching for in 2020. I will find it because now it is available. Now say it in the Holy Ghost. The prosperity I've been searching for in 2020. I will find it because now it is available. Somebody shout it loud. Amen. Number four. Number four. Uh, character. Characteristic of honey is that it is a honored gift. Genesis 43 to uh, verse 11. Genesis 43 verse 11. Honey is a honorable gift meant for the excellent uh, men and women. And remember in Appealing Grace Assembly, we are icons. Buffoons are not called icons. Lazy bones are not called icons. They are men who are who are, who, are, who, are, who are dogged in success and with success. They are men of valor. Men of valor. Abgats, you are men of valor. You are mothers of valor. Mothers of grace. Mothers of prophets. Fathers of prophets. Yes, you deserve a honor in this season. Hallelujah. Say with me, say, I deserve an honor this season. I am an honorable in the ember months. Say it again. Beloved, I speak to your career. Receive the honor of promotions. <laughs> Since we came back from COVID lockdown, we have been dedicating vehicles every service day on Sundays. Your honor is coming. Your honor is coming. Your honor is available. Your honor is coming. Your honor is near. Your honor is knocking on the door. Oh, let that door be opened unto you. Doors of honor. When doors of honor are open, listen to me. Doors of shame shall be shut, receiving the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The book of Genesis 43 levels was talking to us about the honor. Beloved, there was a pre-honor in the life of Joseph, for even from his father, before his dream came to pass. Remember, he dreamt that the entire house of Israel were going to honor him. Now, when he sees his when he sees his younger brother. When he sees his younger brother, and then he sends his elder brothers to go, and then I mean, when, when, yes, when, when, when he wanted to know whether his younger brother was alive, he now, he now, he now sent a message to his father, and then when the father was to release Benjamin to go back with uh, with his elder brothers to Joseph, he didn't just release Benjamin; he released Benjamin with what? With honey. 
and other packages because of the status which Joseph had become. Beloved, you are becoming now. You are coming up to a status. You are coming up to a standard. You are coming up to a template of honor. You shall be honored. And then what will happen? Rather than for men to send ashes unto you in this season, they will send honor to you in the gift of honey. They will send honor to you in the gift of honey. They will send honor to you. They will honor you. They will roll red carpets for you in the world. In the gift of honey. Receiving the name of Jesus. Honey, number five, is of good taste. Proverbs 24, 13. If you have been tasting sour, sour, if you have been experiencing sourness since the beginning of the year, honey will change your taste in this season. Honey will change your taste. Proverbs 24, 13. Proverbs 24, 13. Let's read quickly. Proverbs 24, 13. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Father, because the things in our tongue are sweetened by the honey, by honey. Proverbs 24, 13. I read, my son, eat thou honey because it is good. And the honeycomb which is sweet to thy taste. God is changing somebody's taste this night in the name of Jesus. It says, weeping though may endure for a night, but honey will change your taste, your experience, your testimony early in the morning. I release, I release in this early morning of the ember month. Honey taste to your destiny. Honey, I add honey to your experience of taste. Receiving the name of Jesus. Number six, the food, it is, it, that, that, that honey was also the food of John the Baptist. Be beloved, John the Baptist was feeding on honeycomb all his days as a prophet and as a priest. Oh, let the anointing of the honey enter your life. Every man of God, every minister in a pretty grace assembly, receive the anointing that comes with honey receive the anointing that comes with honey such that the word that you preach the word that you speak in the ember month shall produce grace your word shall produce grace in that family as a wife let your word be coated with honey so that when you when you when, when your word comes to your husband when your co word comes to your spouse husband and wife it will not be words of error it will not be words of 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 it there will be words of encouragement there will be words of insisting that will boost a relationship in your family receiving the name of jesus are you attending an interview in this embassy let honey in, order your tongue let honey hung on comb fill your tongue the answers to questions will become acceptable to your promotion receiving the name of jesus my sons and daughters that are writing exams your writing shall taste honey your writing shall taste honey unto success remember you are in the year of excelling grace wonderful grace ten times better you will not write failure you will write success somebody say loud amen john 3 1 to 4 tells us that all his days john the baptist fed on honey that's number six character of the honey and then lastly number seven revelations 10 7 to 11 let's read together Revelations 10, 7 to 11. I read. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound the mystery of God, but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished as he hath declared to his servants, even the prophets. Verse 8. And the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel, which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And verse 9, And I went on to the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey and i took the little book out of the hand of the angel and ate it up and it was in my mouth sweet as honey and as soon as i had eaten it my belly was bitter honey is the food 
of the Bible in the latter days. Honey is the food of the Bible. May I speak to you? You will not miss eternal life. By the volume of the word of God that you eat every day. No wonder, no wonder. Peter said, doing your will, O Lord, is my meat. And what is the will of God? The will of God is as embedded in the word of God. Beloved, it's a time to study the word of God. It's a time to eat the word of God. It's a time to feed fat on the word of God because heaven and earth will pass away, but the word of God shall abide forever. I speak into your life in this season that the word of God will give you the food of the end of the year in milk and honey and even unto eternal life the f the word of god which is the food of uh, the, the the food in the bible the food of the word of god shall feed you remember the bible says uh, man shall not live by bread alone but by the word of god the word that is that proceeds from the mouth of god shall feed you as what as milk uh, as and as honey as milk uh, and as honey more so in these last days when the city is all over the place but when you eat the food of god the food of the bible and the word of god you shall stand like the rock that cannot be moved receive this same grace wherever you go you will not be shaken you will not be distracted you will not be shaken you will not be distracted receive and receive and receive in Jesus most wonderful name we have prayed praise the Lord so we can see tonight that all that we have said all that is required for us to enjoy milk and honey is in the word of God David said thy word thy word, thy word O Lord have I hid in my heart that I might not what sin against you and he said thy word O Lord is the lamp unto my feet and the lamp unto my path. I pray milk and honey shall feed you to the last day of the year 2020 and you shall be fed to the full and to the full in the name of Jesus. So in case you have questions on this message today, please feel free to send your comments, questions on the platform of the church and also on the on the on the facebook and the lord bless you as you do so in jesus name father we just thank you tonight that your word has fed us father we have been fed with the milk in refreshness in care in tender care and we have been fed with the honey which is the food of the bible lord we know that upon this feeding our hungers are satisfied our thirsts are satisfied and the enemy can no more cause in hunger not test. Thank you, Abba Father, because we shall grow as we are nourished by the, by the word. We give you all the praise. Father, give your people testimonies even ahead of Sunday service. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Before we share the grace, please, on Sunday, being the very first Sunday of the month of September, we'll be going into what the choir, the psalmists have told, have told me to tell you, church, that is going to be a praise Sunday. So on Sunday, come with very, very dynamic attires that match all the Niger praise. I mean, all the Niger uh, tribes and uh, peoples. And God bless you because we'll dance and dance and rejoice in making it into the ember months. God bless you. Shall we share the grace in fellowship? Want to go? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Let's say surely, surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall do in the presence of our God forever and ever. Amen. Say with me, the month of September and the ember season, my season of what? Milk and honey. Year 2020, our excelling grace, wonderful grace, 10 times better. God bless you. See you with your testimonies on Sunday. Hallelujah.